Now, as you can see, pretty easy. Not that long to do either, actually. Uh, I went and did something else while I was doing this, just to take a break from bending over. But I think all told, maybe 10 minutes to sharpen this blade. This blade is 120 inches long. I think it's three teeth per inch. So, not a whole lot of teeth. I wouldn't want to try to sharpen one that's got, you know, like 10 or 12 teeth per inch. That would be a bit too tedious, I think. But for a blade like this, perfect. This thing holds it at exactly the right angle, which you can adjust by just loosening these two screws and rotating it slightly to match the angle. I set up my fence here, just, you know, tighten it in place at, to put this right at the middle of the blade. So I push it in up against that and it guides it square to the blade every time. Now, I kind of made the thing on the fly, so I'll just take it apart to show you how it went together. Just two screws holding this on. Take those completely out. They are screwed through a strip of metal. This is just a piece of sheet metal that I cut and drilled holes in. And what that does is it clamps the tool in place while the blocks hold it in place. This is just a piece of 2x8 that I grabbed off my lumber rack with a piece of half inch plywood screwed on the bottom to make it as a platform. I held that in place up against the blade and used the Dremel itself to get the angle half decent right. Then I put the blocks in place and once they are in place then I could make the final adjustments to get the angle exactly right. So yeah, not a whole lot to it, not really complex and hard to build. I whipped this up really quick, just kind of spur of the moment thing. It occurred to me while I was out here doing something else that this might work, so I gave it a try. If you want a good starting point to build your own, I've got the dimensions for this one on the website article. The link is in the description. Of course, no sharpening video is complete without a test cut. I've got a piece of hard maple here that's six inches thick and we'll see how well the blade stands up to that. Wow, that was quick. And boy, did that cut through that fast. That's amazing. This was very dull. I can't say it was very dull, but it was dull enough that it would, you know, labor through this before. All right, here's something thicker. This is a piece of spruce 2x10. I've got to be honest, I don't think that this blade was this sharp when I first got it. It cut through this like it was cutting through butter. A handy little gadget, quick and easy to make just the way I like it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.